Hello friends, welcome back to this session. So today's session is a bit uh, special and uh, we have got a couple of requirements from our uh, audience. So uh, they need some uh, live session for the Node.js to deploy in the production one where we have the Node.js application that you can access from the live. Uh, that should be used with the docker and they need the end-to-end -end projects like we use a github cicd pipeline docker and uh, i want to create a docker image and that will deploy in the my server so here in this session we are going to understand the full end-to-end -end the session which basically make you the the full stack full developer uh, let's start so uh, what will be seeing in this session so basically we will co going to connect our vs code with the gitlab we will push our code to uh, GitLab repositories will create a setup CICD pipeline or uh, deploy uh, the container using the render and we will see the live access of our URL. So this is all about the, uh, today's session. The structure of the project is very simple. We'll use the Docker file. We'll get the uh, create the GitLab CI YAML that is our CICD pipeline index.js and the package.json. So this is basically core part. Let's see the code. Uh, let's not waste much time in the theory part. Let's move the code side. Okay, before moving to the uh, code side, let's create a project in the GitLab. That's our repository. You can simply go here and create a project repository here. And uh, this will create a new blank project. I'm just creating the very blank project, giving the proper name here. So I'm just creating the Node.js example here, adding the the initialize the, uh, the readme file simply creating the project here so this will uh, create my project here you can see the node js example with the blank only the readme this is a created so let's try to connect uh, this repo with my vs code uh, taking the http as url for the cloning part so right now i am in the visual studio i just want to clone the my repository I'm just giving the clone and you have to give the repository URL. Before that, you have to install the GitLab uh, plugin here and your account should be visible with the, your GitLab. So you just install the plugin, log in your GitLab that will automatically uh, take the GitLab from here once you give the proper URL. So I given the URL here. Uh, we need to create a, some uh, directory for that. So here in the GitLab, we have to give. We'll take from the GitLab because it's try the same repo with the GitHub. So that will create an issue. Let's see. So this will prompt you the login part. You can see it prompt me the login part. So I have to authorize my credentials. Once this is authorized. It will log in you in your VS code. You can see it logged in. You can see now code has been the copied and the cloned here successfully. You can see this here. Okay, so now let's create a file. What we have need here, all four files here. So first we'll create an index.js. Okay, so I just kept the index.js. That is a basic uh, the index uh, return file. This is your home page where you get the, the basic uh, return page where basically it's showing the welcome to the my Node.js app. This is the very initial page once you log in your web page. Let's move to the another file. Second file is package.json. package.json you can basically see the what is the dependency we need this is the express uh, node and the this n2 the package.json let's move the next file so third file will use the docker file so docker file basically uh, it's is the node simple alpine app uh, we are creating the directory package of json we are copying here and just installing the npm so this will expose the port on 3000 and it will start our npm this is a very basic script which basically start your server here let's move to the our, our core part which is cicd so cicd pipeline should be created with the hidden the dot so it should name the gitlab ci ml 
core content of this this will basically use the stage build and deploy and it will start our docker part you can script here it will do the login the repository then it will do the build then it will push the image here deploy basically it will do the deploy of your uh, container image what you created so that will basically log in uh, that pull the image and it will run your image with the 3000 so this will basically do the, your build of the docker and second one it will deploy in your server so uh, i think this is done let's try to push in our uh, repo let me add all this file just giving the commit message right. then sync so this will push my changes to the repository github repository uh, once this is done let's cross check in the github also sorry it's a gitlab okay so push is done let's move to the gitlab to validate okay so node just example there is only one readme let me refresh this part this should get all the files with the commit details okay so now we got the all the files here and uh, i think this is done from the, our repository side let's move to the uh, um, our pipeline side so pipeline file we have already uploaded you can see that is a uh, our uh, git uh, lab that is the dot yaml file which is running here so this will do the build and the deploy part you can see this is doing the build uh, you can just click here and you can see your progress your build progress so basically it will uh, take that code and then it's do the build build we have written that's a, a docker part and deploy there is a, a docker part so basically there is a two stage build and deploy stage so you can similar see the both stage here it's a build is done here you can see so high level it's you can see here this is the build is done now running the deploy one this is running okay. let's move to the render to deploy the this app on the live server here uh, so i have logged in my render account and uh, basically you have to connect uh, while you uh, uh, work with the render you have to connect with your git lab so i just simply connected git lab uh, that's a simply just you can click the new project and you can connect and once you have connected you have to just deploy your service so basically you have to deploy like static site web server private uh, service similar they are giving the menu options we are going to deploy the web service here i'm just selecting the web service once you have connected you will find the all your repository example here so basically this is authenticated with your git lab here if similar way you want to connect the github you just click here that will connect you want to connect the bitbucket you click here that will authenticate with your bitbucket github or gitlab with your respective credential so right now we have taken the example of node.js example i'm just taking this part okay so once you have select this one you have to give the configuration so what kind of project this one so that information we have to fill here so it understand so this is the basic information so this is the project name the language we have added the docker what is the branch so branch we have added the main and you can choose the where what region you want to deploy so right now we have taken the default region and if you want to specific any the root directory you can give rest you can go with the default one so i'm just going with the free account here let me deploy here i'm just direct, directly downloading a deployment here uh, in between if you have any variable you can configure variable value here also so let's go and deploy here so i'm just deploying the my web service here so you can see the deployment is started here uh, so once you start deployment it will do the your log here so basically this will also run the both part so you can see it started deployment and uh, you can see the logs here so you basically it's fetching the repository uh, it will do your uh, build and deployment part so this will basically load your uh, deployment part here uh, see this is the free account so might take some latency so you can refresh this part to view the all log okay once this is done it will deploy in your in in their localhost and they will give one url this is a public url this, i can see this url so you can see welcome to my node app this is a deployment and this is running status successful so basically the my uh, node.js app is deployed in the uh, real-time live uh, environment this is the end-to-end -end program 
uh, I'll, I'll give the uh, complete uh, URL of my GitLab so you can refer this code. Similar way you want to explore some more project you can do with your own. So what kind of uh, modification you can do? You can use the uh, GitHub instead of GitLab. You can use the Bitbucket instead of GitLab and you can explore more. So basically you can add some more complexity in the project side. So this will add you the more confident to understand. Uh, let me do the very quick recap. Uh, let me go here. So first we have created the repo. We have pushed our code here. So this is our basic code. So package.json, index.json, docker file and the GitLab. So GitLab is basically containing the your build and deployment part. Similar way, the docker is yours containing the basic docker uh, image information. So what kind of image is there? That? That's installing the simple package.json, npm, npm installation and port exposure 3000. So this is the very basic part. Uh, let's see, you try with your own. Let us know if you see any issue, we will try. We will try to make some new projects. And till time, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Keep uh, like, subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.